Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to show you something different. Normally we've just been programming, and lately we've been programming a lot in Swing, which is GUI. Um, so you may be wondering how I always know the exact coordinates to type in whenever we're setting the bounds of our um, components, like buttons and sliders and checkboxes, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you, so you can make your own GUIs, um, very simply and easily um, on your own so without my coordinate help. So I'm going to show you a program called GUI Genie which is what I use for all of my um, normally GUI projects. It's really simple um, and it's actually programmed in Java. Uh, so let's get started. So when you open GUI Genie, um, by the way I will put a download in the description you get a screen like this. If I want to start a new project, I click this little package button and it says choose layout. So it says it's recommended to use absolute positioning. Da, 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 da. Um, we're going to use absolute positioning because these guys do work, but they're not, I mean, according to GUI Genie, they're not very helpful right now. So we're just going to use absolute positioning, which is my favorite anyway, so this is good. So when we do that, we get a window like this. So you get all these default buttons, which you can delete by pressing the delete key three times. And you only get a choice of these components. So one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. So you only get to choose twelve components, but that's okay for the sake of what we're doing. So you can resize your window, something like this. You really don't need that big of a window. And let's say I wanted to make um, maybe a checkbox in here and a slider down here and a, a label somewhere in between, like right here, maybe a, a password box. I don't even know. So this is what you can use to generate these guys. So when you do it, um, if you want to enter the variable name and stuff like that, that's also quite simple. So, for example, if we we're doing the checkbox, we can click on our checkbox and we can set the caption. So, let's set this to my cool checkbox. So, of course, you'll see that it's starting to go off of the layout or the off of the checkbox. So, you can change that by simply resizing it with this little position black box on the corner. So, you'll also see a name. So let's set the name. Let's name this. This is, by the way, the variable name. So this will pop up in the code. So let's name this my. Let's just name this check box. And this label, we can do the same thing. Let's name it label. And we can name this caption. I am a caption. And then we have a password. Uh, J text field um, and this actually also is option so columns means how many columns down it allows you to enter in the text field so um, these are obviously very adjustable you can even use the component location position section to fine tune exactly where you want it to be um, make a match up make it look good do whatever you want and there's a lot of customization but not too much that it becomes confusing. So for example, max, I can set the max amount of numbers I want, Let's say it's five. Um, I can set the orientation, like vertical, for example. Let's keep it horizontal. Enabled, of course, you wanna keep that checked. Um, name, let's just name the slider, and so on and so forth. So when you've made your perfect GUI and you want to submit it and sell it for millions of dollars, you can simply go to the build tab and click preview code. I rarely use the save code because you can literally just copy and paste this. So in here we have our code that is generated. It's not too big and it generates it, you know, actually pretty well. I like the way it generates it. So what it does is it creates the variables at the top, it constructs things below, and then sets properties, and then size, and then adds them, and then sets the boundaries. And that's literally all you need to do. Once you're ready to do it, you simply copy by doing that or right clicking, selecting copy, and then pasting it into your Java EEID. Um, and that's really all you have to do for this. You can even preview the panel if you want to. Um, check it out, see that looks pretty good. 
um, and then go back and change some things if you need to. But for now, that's all you need to know. And I think you will really enjoy this program. And I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.